Hello students, welcome back. Now we are going to demonstrate the car parking system on Nexus 4 board. It's a new FPGA board. So we will learn how to code on that board as well. So in this video, we are going to talk about the very low code for the seven segment display of Nexus 4. We will complete the FPGA implementation part and have the hardware demonstration. So let us get started. So we are going to have a design for our new board that is Nexus 4. We are going to test with random parking places. We will check if the counter is working fine when the cars are leaving or coming and if the wrong inputs can disturb our system or not. So let us first go to Vivado, code it and then we will have the hardware demonstration. In our project, the first thing that we have to change is our project part. It was basis 3, but now we are going to go to general purpose RTX CSG324 minus 1 and this 100. This is our board that is Nexus 4 DDR. Please select the board that is your first step. Next thing we will write the code. So here in the code we are having 8 bits which is for car that means 8 cars are there in our parking slot. 7 bit for 7 segment display and on Nexus 4 we have 8 7 segment displays. So the width of variable an is 8 bit so it is 7 down to 0. Now we declare one variable called num which is going to store the count it is a 4 bit number and our 7 segment display. So first line is same we are just counting all the bits of our input and storing them in num. We are saying an is 7 once followed by 0 that means the rightmost 7 segment display will be active other 7 will be disabled. We say always at the rate num begin case which is based on num there are 9 cases from 0 to 8 and in all the cases we have written the corresponding 7 segment code for the 4 bit hexadecimal number. Now this is the change that we have to do in our very low code. The next important step is the constraint file. Now we have Nexus 4 board that means we need to take a new constraint file. So we went to Google and searched Nexus 4 DDR XDC file. On GitHub which is the official repository of Digilint you will find this file. Click on row and we have this file you will be given this link so take this file copy the whole content and come to the vivado now this is our constraint file in vivado what we have done here first of all we are using switches you can use any switches i am using the eight switches from the right side and we are giving them the numbers cars of 0 1 2 7 in Nexus 4, we have to mention our port name only one time. This is a difference between the constraint file of Nexus 4 and Basis 3. Then we scroll down. We don't need any LEDs and we come to 7 segment display. And we mention the 7 bits of our seg variable seg0 to seg6. The next one is anode activate and there are 8 bits and they will be an of 0 to an of 7 rest of the file is commented we don't change anything there now we come back towards the sources and in the constraint sources make sure that only your current constraint file is active all others are disabled check the simulations and go for synthesis implementation and bitstream. Once everything is done then we are going to open the hardware manager. 
the hardware manager is open now we will click on the open target before that on the right side we have our nexus 4 board and i have now switched it on so you can see that the nexus 4 board is having a wave kind of pattern on the seven segment displays the rgb leds are changing colors randomly and the power on led is on this is our nexus 4 board without any programming now we click on open target and auto connect we have detected that xca 100t this is the correct board and we program our device now the programming is done and you can check that on the fpga the rightmost seven segment display is zero let us thoroughly check all the cases now nexus 4 board is ready with our car parking system these are the eight switches which will be used to show that if there is a car or not and these eight switches will not have any effect so if i say that the car is parked here i will put this switch on this side and you can say that yes the system is showing that there is one car parked if i slide any other switch now i can see that two cars are parked if i slide one more then there are three cars one more there are four cars here are the switches which i am not using so if i touch them if i flip them nothing is happening and if any one of the car is leaving the count is back to three and if i turn on all of these we can see all the eight cars are parked and when they start leaving the count will decrease any car is leaving our count remains fine so students now that we know that we can design very interesting projects and one project we have just seen on fpga and that was the car parking system we will explore more projects and the next one is a vending machine in our next video keep learning thank you